Yo, what is good, Lock 'em Up Nation? Coming at y'all with another banger, another build video. This time we are doing a Trey Young type build. I also did a Steph Curry type build with Lock Takeover and MVP Derrick Rose. Both will be on the end screen. So I recommend you watch this video the whole way through. That way you can catch those two right after this. And you can decide which one of the three builds is best for you. And I should have more build videos coming soon. Now, Trey Young is one of my favorite young players in the NBA. He's a little guy, but he is a walking bucket. Can score all the way from half court all the way to the basket. And he's also a great passer. Now, we'll get into the build in a second, but first, I stream on Twitch now, and I stream often, and once 2K21 drops, I will be streaming daily, so make sure you hit me with that file, link down below in the pinned comment. Also, we are on the road to 6K subscribers, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on post file notifications so you don't miss an upload. Now, the name is up to you, position, point guard, obviously, hand it is up to you, I'm going to go right-handed, Trey Young's right-handed, plus, I like being right-handed. And jersey number will be my favorite number 11. Now the pie chart we're gonna go with is actually one of the new pie charts. Instead of half playmaking and half shooting, we're gonna, gonna go with the one that is a little, just a little more shooting than playmaking. Your handling's still gonna be really good, but your shooting is gonna be insane while having good handles. Watch this. So close shot, driving layup, and driving dunk will all go all the way up. Along with mid-range shooting, three-point shooting, and free throw shooting. Trey Young is one of the best passers, so we will move his pass accuracy all the way up while moving his ball handling all the way up. And we are going to move his playmaking up just enough to get 21 playmaking. I know post moves ain't really a thing, but we want to get a little more post, not post, playmaking badges than 18. Now, perimeter defense, I know he's not really known for defense. But we're going to move his defense up anyway. I mean, we've got to do something with these attribute upgrades. So we're going to get some defensive badges. And this is how I would do them. Now, I know you're thinking four defensive badges. It might be enough for some of you and some maybe not. You can arrange some things. Maybe take down the free throw a little bit. Maybe, you don't really need 24 shooting badges. But I'm thinking of you 5v5 pro players and rec players. Now, the... Body shape, we're going to do define. That's how I want to do it. 6'1 will be the height. Now, I know 6'1 defense ain't too great. You're probably thinking, how am I going to play defense? 6'1 was the meta point guard build in the stage. This is a great stage build and a 5v5 build because you're not really going to be defending the best player on fives anyway. I mean, y'all probably are going to run zone or have to lock guard the best player. And in stage, you know, people don't really take advantage of 6'1 point guard's height on the other end so 6-1 you can definitely get away with it's the meta build in stage comp stage because 6-1 you're really fast and the shorter you are the faster you get your shot off so 6-1 is definitely the best build because you're going to be so fast and you're going to need a center, just a centimeter of space to get the shot off on that lockdown and stage you don't really have to worry about people abusing you because you know the guard's going to be ball hogging anyway trust me I know and uh in the park you know you can still work with it you're going to be a bucket and you know if you play threes you know get the lock the guard to guard you're not going to really have to worry about defense on this 6-1 trust me and offensively you're going to be damn near unstoppable trust me every comp stage player you can think of that runs point guard uses this 6-1 build now we're going to move the weight all the way down for that speed and acceleration strength goes all the way down pretty well not all the way but you know it goes down a lot but strength doesn't really mean nothing on a point guard. You see the, the post moves and the interior defense going down. That don't really mean nothing. Wingspan, you can keep it the same if you want. But like I said, you don't really have to worry about defense and that other stuff with this build. You're already going to be 6'1". So if you want your shot to be insane, look at this. You're going to have a 99 mid-range at 99. And you will have a 99 three-pointer at 99. That is just insane to think about. And your ball handling is going to be crazy too. Offensively, just like Trey Young, you're going to be unstoppable. But you'll lack on defense. I mean, if you're skilled enough on the sticks, you'll be able to play defense as it is. But like I said, if you're running threes or fives, you're not going to be guarding the ball handler like that anyway. Now, the takeover 
any of these can go Trey Young, to be honest with you. But if you want to be mad OP, you want to go with that sharp takeover. And that's what we're going to do. And you're going to see we made a point making shot career. It's comparable to Steph Curry, which is true. But you see Trey Young. We basically made Trey Young six foot one. But don't leave yet because we got to go over the badges. So you get two finishing badges. Honestly, I'd probably go with consistent finisher because we don't know with this new stick timing. You might need consistent finisher. Maybe you might want to go contact. Maybe you want to go uh, slurry finisher. I don't know. I think consistent finisher is a really good badge. That was my 2K20 finishing badge. 24 shooting badges. Range extender. Hall of Fame range extender, I mean. Trey Young can shoot from half court. It's pretty obvious. Hot zone hunter. Come on. Dead eye. That's a given. Now, the rest of this is pretty much up to you. We got 12 left. Uh, you could probably go volume shooter. Trey Young takes a lot of shots while passing the ball still. I feel like if Trey Young gets to a hot start, there's no stopping him. Uh, maybe some clutch shooter. Difficult shots. Actually, you can probably do like this. I mean, it doesn't have to be hot. It could be green machine. It could be health. You can be steady shooter if you wanted to. Corner Specialist, that's one of my favorite badges. But let's just say Green Machine, because I know that's what most of you like. Now, Playmaking, handles for days, quick first step. You only get gold playmaking badges on this build, you know, that sucks. Dimer, gold, you know, Trey Young's a great passer. It means Floor General, Bailout on Bronze, Tight Handles, Ankle Breaker, and Space Creator. Let's do it like this, actually. I mean, that's pretty solid. I mean, there's Needle Threader too. Oh, I didn't mean to do Bailout on Bronze. You can do Needle Threader. You can do that. I mean, I didn't mean to do uh, Bailout on Silver. But, yeah, there's your Planicum badges. Four defensive badges. I would probably go Clamps Gold. You want to stop those blow buys, you're going to be really small. So, you're going to need that. And people are going to try and bully your size. So, Intimidator. That, to me, is a no-brainer. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications, and don't forget to follow me on Twitch. If you have any questions about this build, or if you have any disputes, any of that stuff, you know, any comments, it helps the algorithm. I mean, I would really appreciate that. Also, I want to know something. How do you think Trey Young's career is going to go? Do you think he's going to be one of those guys that puts up great stats but never wins? Or do you think... If they put the right pieces around him in Atlanta, that, you know, Trey Young and the Hawks can really do something. Or, should he even leave the Atlanta Hawks for a better opportunity? I don't know, man. But, let me know what y'all think. Also, if you hit Y, you can choose your jump shot. I didn't even notice this. But, yeah. If you want me to tell y'all the best jump shot, then... Let me know, because I already know what the best jump shot is. It was the best jump shot in 2K20, and this game is a copy and paste of 2K20. So I got a feeling it's going to be Cashola, baby, once again. Anyway, here's some videos on the end screen. There's Curry, there's Rose, and there's my most recent upload, which is probably some video from 2K20 right now. But if you're watching like days or weeks from now, it might be another 21 video. Who knows? But I'll see you there, or I will see you on the next one. Well, until next time, I am out. Peace!